Welcome back to the Soul Supplier podcast, episode 10 with myself, George, from the Soul Supplier at the Soul G. And I can't believe that you got that right. The last two week episodes, <laughs> you've got it wrong. That was a rough. Well, let's not start this off with you rinsing me because <laughs> you're already coming on, on a bad note. You already look tired. You already look like easy pickings. So if you want easy it. Easy pickings. I, th- I thought the trim was looking uh, kind of on point. You know what he's saying to me, yeah? It's because I, I said a few things upstairs and he was like, no, no, no. I'm just trying to get on to me. Listen. We're I'm, here with Alex Vass. You know, I understand. Can't, I'm bulletproof, yeah. Lawrence. You know what I mean? We're here with Alex Vass and Lawrence from Crep Select. Come on. For I'm anyone here, that doesn't in know. In the building. Tell us about Crep Select and who you are, Lawrence. Uh, So my name's Lawrence. I own Crep Select in Lewisham Shopping Centre. I'm basically next to a JD, opposite a Foot Locker, (laughs) by a Starbucks, and I'm little Crep Select, and I'm, yeah, I'm stealing all their business. I don't think it's little (laughs) anymore, though, is it? No, no, it's nice, yeah, yeah. yeah, It's it's medium medium size now, I would say. Yeah. It's it's getting there, it's getting there. It's a different ball game to the JDs of the world. The, The JD shopper... Yeah, true. Yeah, they see what's in Crep Select. I did, and a little, like, I did a very rude snap, maybe like two days ago. Oh, I saw where it. JD JD was like there, and I filmed JD and said, "If you've got sixty quid, go in there. If you've got six hundred, go in Crep Select." Everyone's like bombarding me. How can you have shoes for six hundred? Well, come and see. Come and see. See what's not a lie. Yeah, you know, you've got a lot of stock as well, man. You've you've been at this for a long time as well. Yeah, well, but the the. The story of the beginning is long, but I'm guessing we've got the time to, when did it to go through it. Yeah. So I had an average clothes shop in Croydon, called, which was called Yoke. And sort of the initial trainer um, input was the week before someone spoke about Crep City. And, and I hadn't heard of it. And I was thinking, well, why would you go somewhere to buy people's... What, <laughs> at the time, I thought it was worn shoes. Mm. So I think, why are you going to go somewhere and buy worn shoes? Like, that is, that's an L. <laughs> then spoke to somebody, he's like, yeah, I got these Air Max from America, 300 quid. I'm thinking, no, nah, I, I can get them. I'm sure I can get them. Then when I've looked at the trainers I've just been buying over the course of however many years trying to be cool in a clothes shop. Just trying. I've got Independence <laughs> Day 90s that I don't know are worth more than yeah. what I paid. So the, the next Saturday, I did my own sort of Crep City whatever in, in my store. And like, it was epic. It started, I don't know if I'd thought of Crep Select. Well, so you sold then, your shoes? My shoes were just in my own shop. Yeah. What, in like a stall in the middle of the shop? Like in, on a table like this, <laughs> all the Independence Day 90s, like all three colours. What, so all, they were fresh? Everything was size eight. Were they brand yeah. new? All brand new. Yeah. Seven and a so half, you had, eight. So you had holding dead stuff, Another right? size seven yeah, and, and a half, by I the way. I didn't even know. know the word. So that, that's that, crazy, isn't it? So you just didn't know about something that you were doing automatically. Stumbled across it. Yeah, yeah. and then you, as, as you're selling the shoe, you're selling the jean. Then I'm selling the shoe and selling the hat. <laughs> Thinking, ah, oh, this is all right. And I think at the time I had... Uh, creative recreation shoes, God, they were them. massive. But I had them, oh I had them at, like as a wholesale thing, and then people would be looking at them like, "Oh, like, what are they? Like, where's the Jordans?" And mm. I was thinking, "Oh, right. So, what, okay. So I phased that out, and then the the Crep Select part of the business just on a weekly basis was just growing and growing. I was already deep into Instagram for Yoke. So I already had an okay amount of followers for then. What clothes were you selling at Yoke? So like G-Star, um, True Religion, Emporio Armani. Okay. Still like street, yeah, could, yeah. Not, not high, not not low, but it just it in all made honesty, the shop In all honesty, work. it's what we could, like, I'd say, I say we, but like Affordable. what we could, account, yeah, like we, it's what our budget was stretched to. You know what I mean, G-Star jeans back <laughs> in the day were expensive. Yeah, well, they were the, probably the first... Well, the, the true religions with the big stitching, which which I probably would still wear. Oh. If they were slim enough. They were like 300 quid at the time. And, and Avisu, shout out, Dan. We, we tried to do that oh. again. That, that flopped. I did try again. I did yeah. try again. Um, but it just, yeah, it was quite a quick lesson that if you had, what, what I'm trying to think what shoes. So maybe the Gamma 11s. Jordan 11 Gamma Blue. We were just watching your video on the Gamma 11. That, that was one of the first <laughs> You shoes. wanted us to bring this up, didn't you? <laughs> no, but that, I'm just thinking back. That was one of the shoes that I was still finding them on eBay. And and the people were travelling from North London because they'd heard someone in Croydon was trying mm. trying to find these old So were you originally from that way then? No, I'm actually from Lewisham. Okay. So that, 
So you were travelling to the shopping. Oh, that drive. Mate, that's a murderous oh, drive. It's, it's horrible. Croydon's basically not even London, man. Yeah, it's really weird. Out of all the sort of places in London, like Brixton, Peckham, wherever, you can sort of, you can get to Lewisham. But getting to Croydon yeah, it's is a long. Yeah, it's a so long drive. So all my customer base from Croydon, even now, they like message me like, oh, can't you just come back? Like, no, I, like, I hear you, it's too far. But just make the effort. Like, I've got all the shoes now. I heard through. something that people were saying, you shouldn't open a shop in Lewisham. Yeah, I mean, obviously, I, my first ever job was the Sainsbury's that I'm two doors away from. Shout out to Sainsbury's. Shout out. Lifelong yeah, customer. I, did, I, got, I got sacked for waffling, but <laughs> I, I, learned, I learned what you're not supposed to do in, in that environment. But then I worked in a shop which was on Lee High Road, which was my first. One minute, one minute. Go Lauren, on. uh, Sam's giving me like evils in a corner if you're banging the table. Am I? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I'll sit on my hands. I'll sit on my hands. No, you're um, good, yeah? I wasn't giving him evil. <laughs> Sam's just uh, enjoying Sam. the show. Yeah, shout Big out to Sam. Sam. Yeah. Um, yeah, so that was my first retail job. No, not retail. Menswear job was in a shop on Lee High Road. I was thinking Sainsbury's three. don't have menswear. No, but that it was it's such a big part of my journey and how I am now, the, the vision I had for the shop, trying to find like a USP, which is impossible in clothing now. To have a USP and sell clothing is so difficult. For it, those people that don't know what a USP is. Uh, just, um, I believe I'm the only shop where you could come in and buy a D squared jean that's current season, Alexander McQueen's current season with a, a Jordan 11 Gamma Blue dead stock 2011. Yeah. I, I, yeah, so that so that's the that's the unique selling point of your store. So you've got accounts with McQueen. Yeah, so that's re, yeah, re, wholesale to retail, yes. Yeah, yeah. But then the front of the shop, which is all the dead stock. See, I didn't know just, that side of things. Man. Where wherever you I can get it. Like I'm being hundred percent real with you. Like I thought it, it was just mainly dead stock stuff, right? No, so I didn't I, know. I that think you... without telling my competitors too much, it's it's fifty fifty. Wow. And it is. But it doesn't. Like, the competitors aren't going to do the same, really. That's what I always think. It's like you could tell people whatever, and they're still not going to act on it. A lot of people, like you were saying, it's like you would go to an event. Yeah, they it, won't. I mean, it took the sort of the best part of how it worked initially in Lewisham was when Croydon came to an end because the the centre was getting taken over by Westfields. Mm. Didn't it get caught in the riots as well? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'll go. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's, I've not done this chronologically at all. <laughs> Everyone's going to be angry. Like, what's thinking... going on here? Does he still work in Sainsbury's part time? <laughs> <laughs> um, right. So yeah, let me do the story properly. Right. So chapter three was in on Lee High Road. Yeah. We we used to sell Cavalli, Versace, Patrick Cox shoes, but all sort of before people knew where to go and get it. So at the time in London, especially if you was like a bit of a gangster. You, you came to this shop. It was it was quite small. It was ahead of like central London in terms of fashion, and it used to take some serious money. And I, I, that was my sort of you know your like eureka moment. Now nah, this is what I want to do. Mm. And it was more clothing and style based. So like if you was going to a good party, we we would do the head to toe from the foot to the head. Mm. Send you out looking mental Dapper. like yeah prop up like yeah. you're, you're going to turn all the heads yeah and then I guess obviously with fashion it's kind of changed now it's just gone footwear footwear first people dress from their feet up I might do clothes I might not <laughs> which then rubbed off in all the other shops I worked in that didn't do dead stock or didn't do the best footwear it was very hard to sell clothes mm. um, but yeah and then I worked for a website shop called Bagger Menswear which was in it was in Bexley Heath originally, but I joined the team when they moved to Chislehurst. So I spent a lot of time doing website stuff for, for the owner. It I saw the pluses and minuses quite quickly. Like all the affiliate stuff is it's complicated. You, you can lose a lot of money if you get a lot of refunds. It isn't, it, it is good, but it's not easy. It's there's the ugly lot, side, isn't it? Yeah, there's a lot of logistics to it to get it right. And, and this is be, online in general. Yeah, you've you got to be yeah. very organized. Mm. It, it didn't sort of, um, when it came to an end there, I didn't think, right, I need a website and not a shop. I still know I need a shop. Mm. So, But what, what was the main motive for that then? Because a lot of people would think I, I could think, just do with a website. Yeah, I think it's, 
it's I'm still a, a personality driven business I think it's okay with so having that I shop. can't sell myself online that well to make you buy mm. Like, people people come it's, it's almost like the experience in it and like yeah, they, when, yeah when they're coming to crypt they're kind of getting a bit of you at the same time as yeah and, the, and if i'm not there the music's how i want it the store looks how i would want it and i'm selling you basically still maybe to my detriment i'm still selling you the clothes i wear mm. which isn't always a good idea in business <laughs> but that's just how but it's a market that works yeah and i think if i yeah. tell you it looks good i'm definitely not chatting rubbish yeah you like, can believe I've, it I've got it yeah, well yeah, yeah you do you do that quite a lot on your Instagram now, don't you like you, you tend to just go around the shop and put stuff on and be <laughs> like and like model it in the yeah, mirror kind of and, thing and like things like, like the triple S Balenciagas that like, we have very few and I'm not, I would not buy them yeah awful. so I don't have a even though we could probably sell more I buy very little of that of the products I don't really like yeah just try and keep it a bit authentic um, but yeah then the next stage of the, the journey the Croydon riots in 2010, <laughs> the shop got completely um, ransacked and uh, emptied, definitely by a lot of my customers. <laughs> but the sort of the pinnacle moment was recovering from that showed me that like, I could easily do this bigger and better. From a financial aspect, did that kind of like really take its toll on you? Because well, well, I, at, I mean, how, yeah. how <laughs> was you was you kind of fully insured? So that was my question too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. at the stage of it, the day before the riot, it wasn't my business. So I was running it for someone. And then- So you within, had a squeeze. Well, within <laughs> the sort of the, the debt, the claim and all the palaver, it, it sort of became mine. And I, I had to just go super hard to get the money back from the police, not the insurance company, because they, they weren't gonna pay out, but the Met agreed to pay out Oh, wow. If you could prove what you lost, mm. so it, it was really long-winded. They must have thought you were taking the absolute piss when you. Yeah, when you the <laughs> what, we walked up with this massive. Yeah. Like, basically, we lost this, this, yeah, this. Yeah. And they're like, "Mate, this is from like 2010. Yeah. What are you on about?" But that's Why very difficult, <laughs> isn't it? When you have got to try and prove the resale price of something. But no, I didn't. At this point, no shoes. Okay. This is before. That the, was lucky. This was before the. the oh, so yeah, you, 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 This was just clothing. Yeah. So basically, the whole of Croydon had loads of G Star that, <laughs> that they didn't buy. Did you ever see people walking? Of course. <laughs> yeah, people but it wasn't looking like, hey, at that hey. stage. I, I, I never, I didn't take it personal. It wasn't shoplifting. No, it wasn't personal. It was, was like it? The, it was people taking opportunity. Yeah. And, yeah. <laughs> it wasn't shoplifting. It was taking opportunity. I want to see people true, say that in court. True. No, no, no. Well, what next I'm time, saying is, next time I know someone gets up in court <laughs> for theft, I'm like, listen. I weren't stealing. No, saw an opportunity no, he, said it, he, said it, he said it wasn't shoplifting. I said, no, sorry. He said it wasn't personal. I said yeah, it that, wasn't personal. It was an opportunity. Yeah, yeah. Not it shop, it wasn't shoplifting. Because yeah. I think it, I was actually on holiday at the time. No, oh, convenient, oh, isn't it? Oh, convenient, yeah. Yeah, I, to be honest, if I would have been at In home. In Barbados. I probably would have been trying to buy a TV. I'm not going to lie. You would have been running about. <laughs> trying to buy one? Been going to the rivals. <laughs> Why would you be trying to buy one? <laughs> um, trying to get a five finger discount. <laughs> But yeah, I mean, it's all part of the journey. And now, having gone through that, little little pickles in business, I'm really yeah. not immune to it. But you're a lot you more. Can't equipped. top that. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. everything's that gone. It's, it's well, I, oh, that bill's really big. Well, all right, well, yeah. just give me a couple more days. I'm not going to lose. I don't lose sleep over stuff like that now. So that's a good point, actually. What sort of for people that want to know, because we get a lot of people say, how do I start a business in yeah. this industry? Not to give too much away, <laughs> or as much as you want, no, really. I mean, but like, I what, sort of, what sort of, as a, as a shoe shop owner, let's yeah. say, what sort of bills will you be paying? What sort of stuff will you, do you yeah, have my, to keep up with? Currently, my, because of how my shop looks, when you yeah. look at it, if you, if you see a picture from outside, the front's really inviting, it's really wide, the ceilings are high. Mm. That actually is such a negative for, for business rates. Really? Because the front part of your shop is A-rated. So if you have a small but long shop, you're in the game. Really? But if you have a wide shop, yeah. Taking up more they're space, basically it? like violating. So it's like that real estate on the high street, basically. <laughs> See, it doesn't really affect the rent, yeah. but the rateable value is, is ridiculous. So even part of the next two years, I'm probably going to stay within Lewisham Centre because it is it's where I've always wanted my shop to be but I might move it slightly to the right or the left because mm. it, it's not... Just take over the Sainsbury's, isn't it? <laughs> take that space. Yeah, would you fine. scale it up then, the size, I do you reckon? It, it'll go bigger, but yeah. go 
thinner and longer. Oh man, just to. I don't think that's the idea. But it's not. It's not a foot flow shop. So is where I am, is it not? Okay. Half the okay. foot flow just stands at the front, looking at me, <laughs> working out whether they go. Why are these Air Max ninety fives two hundred and fifty? So from the till, I say, well, do you want to look at the date on the shoe, or have you seen that colour recently? Yeah, I bought them six years ago. Well, you've answered the question. No, I don't get it. Yeah. Whereas the destination customer who knows I'm there just comes and buys. Oh my god, you've got them in a size yeah, eight. Yeah. Two fifty is that it? I'll give you. T- I'll give you two eighty. Like that's <laughs> that can be I could be above Argos what's the percentage then of like your customers on the footfall or the people that come there because they know it's there so we, and they want to so buy let's say we have say 30 customers a day yeah 10 are buying they already know what they're coming to get 5 really don't want to because they've accidentally found me mm. And but most of the foot flow isn't an argument that would be the wrong word but it's we we, edu- we try and educate it. I'm not. Yeah. I try not to be rude. Depends how you talk about it. it What's the craziest thing that someone said to you? Like you must have something like. Um, yeah, you must. Get I something. I I can get these. Yeah, no, bro, bro, you can't. No, no, no. I can, I can. But okay, I'll if you get it, I'll give I'll give you two bills. Yeah, I can get them for ninety. I, I'll give you two bills tomorrow, and they come back and it's Jordan six rings. It's not a retro, bro. That, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That that isn't a but Jordan they were Eleven. So convinced. No, but it is similar. So well, no, you was adamant it was the same yesterday. <laughs> like, come Do you on. have that a bit then? People saying that. No, not every day, but every people every saying I can get days. them. Yeah, then they'll they'll go to JD and buy the the the, the, the Space Jam version in a six ring, which is one forty. <laughs> My Space Jams are say two eighty, three hundred. Yeah, and they come in to cash out, and the shoes wrong it's different yeah and we still have so do you get people view. kicking up a, yeah I was going to say because no, I'm, I'm but if you kicking can get up a them fuss. I'll buy them that's yeah, what I'm saying yeah, yeah. 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 You, you, do, you do buy a lot as well of like course, people, it's, it's, you have some to do it that's I, the only way that you can survive I've had in some this. weird days where I've sold a D squared hat and, and and a t-shirt but I've paid out like three four grand in shoes people and that I, come and give you stuff because yeah, sh- I can't say no like I do need it so do you do stuff on a consignment basis or do you just I, literally I, buy it off yeah, people I've, I've tried with the consignment because of how the contracts and stuff like that yeah not not really that it's just how the shop is if if Russ comes in and he needs a shoe and the shoe's consignment it's shout just out a Russ pickle. by the way who's <laughs> Russ <laughs> Russ is you know, gunling, gunling. Gunling. get the gunling oh, oh. listen yeah. shout out Russ if you want to come on the show gonna, bro let us know he, he don't want to hear about consignment All right, shout out Russ yeah. I don't own the shoe yeah. he's going to think I'm just trying to not give discount yeah, yeah. yeah yeah. whereas if I've bought the shoe I remember what I've paid my, my margins there I can do what I need to do to keep it how the business is if it was all consignment and it, it couldn't move because I don't own the shoe. You can't drop it, basically. Yeah, I think You could it, put it up Yeah, if you wanted. Yeah, but it would you just, need to achieve... Yeah, I yeah. mean, I, I try and only consign shoes I'm really not happy buying. Mm-hmm. Whereas if, if I can buy it, if it's right, I know I can sell it. It's so like the Balenciaga Triple S you might consign if it's a sell no, no, that's I only buy that wholesale. Okay. The, so you, you've you've got quite a few like wholesale accounts now. Then, like you know, yeah, I mean, the, the back of the shop still, obviously, in the sneaker community, they come in and think, oh, why why has he got that as well? Because that how's that going to resell? But it's actually retail. Yeah, so when so I tell yeah. when I tell people that's retail, then they go, well, and then we have arguments with other people. Their Valentino runners are five twenty or five thirty. Why would people buy Yeezys for four hundred? Because well, it's what you want. Yes. Yeah, if you want that shoe, but you'll pay it. But we get both people. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And it is... So you think like retail and resale can exist in the same place? Oh, that's definitely my... Yeah. The only reason my name's ringing. Yeah. Because no they can do both. doing it. Yeah. It's funny as well because you mentioned about how like why would people pay four hundred pounds for a Yeezy but then five twenty for you know a Balenciaga run or whatever. It goes back to what Collar said when he was on um, from Yeezy Mafia when he was like it's now about what people are willing to pay as opposed to what the shoe's worth. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah, because that's yeah, of course. Just the value that you put on it for what is perceived to be. Yeah, and some forget people, the retail price. Some people, will go, I'm not paying more than what retail is for a pair of Adidas. Mm. Like, some people are adamant and they can afford it 
and they will only buy Italian product or like off-white clothing or like D squared. That they're, they're not interested, and those people are still here. And you've got a really like vast range of like pr uh, kind of brands in your store as well, like because you've also got like some independent uh, uh, UK brands as well, yeah, right? And all, is I've that always try to? I know you put something up where you kind of you got people to tag different brands yeah. in the, the comment section yeah. and then you were going to decide which one yeah, that you so would stop. Tax3 won that, a, a, a British brand that's really selling well. They're doing loads of like positive stuff. They did a What is that, Tax3? It's called, yeah, so it's Tax and then 3. So okay. obviously it's got a good ring. Yep. It, they're one of the only brands I know that, I think they've done Pure London. Yeah. Spent a load okay. of money on a, like an area mm. and went hard. Got I think they've opened a few like new accounts. Yep. They're, they're like ahead of a lot of other British brands, but the British brands were so um, such a big part of my early journey. When G Star stopped selling, and Armani was like, "Well, we don't really want to sell to you no more because JD started what stocking the EA Seven. Yeah, something like JD started. bought it, and then I wasn't allowed it. I, I couldn't get no clothing. Wouldn't so. be like JD, would it, to do something like that? <laughs> hey. I don't mind. Yeah. All their staff <laughs> next door shop with me. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but no, the British brands have been a big part of the early journey. So I've just tried to stay sort of loyal to it. So I still sell Swag What's the London. biggest? Okay, yeah. Um, yeah, I was going to ask you about you got that, that suit, that, <laughs> that grey fleece that. suit. People do I need get to get you one of these, man. I'm telling so you. It's like what a, is it? It's a biker jacket yep. with a with a tracksuit bottom made out of grey tracksuit. It's like a tech flea suit. But it's a... Okay. A, I mean, I... I, I need to see I, this. I too. overwear it. Yeah. And people do message the snap and say, oh, bro, that again. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, not everything has to be... Yeah, it doesn't have to be fresh yeah, every day. I really, I love it. I yeah. want them to design me my own one in my own colour. On that note, do you feel the pressure to wear something fresh every day, every day new or every day nah, different? I uh, try and... It has to try and in line with Crep Select or from Crep Select, definitely. Yeah, but um, like you said, it's what you wear, right? Yeah, I mean, but I'm you... not overly, I wouldn't say I'm overly stylish, to be honest. Like, that isn't, that weren't ever part of the journey. Don't but worry, if, man. That's not me either. If you're going to a show. You know, I just keep it, you, keep it real. If you was going somewhere and you're my client, yeah. I'm sending you out proper. Mm. Like I get more. You must. Have, you must that. have had so many people like with the Drake concerts last yeah, week. Yeah, I was doing the most, and then half the people I'm dressing are performing at it. Yeah, yeah I was gonna so say. The, yeah, it's it's been surreal. Why? Like, who came into the? Who came uh, into so the I've shop? Like, yeah, I've done. I did Russ around that time, and then he went on to do Steph London's tour. I did dig that. Um, yeah, you I, aren't gonna did, know many of these people because the you don't listen to this, this music. It, Hold on a minute. <coughs> do you then? Yeah. yeah, I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you said uh, people like Lowski in the store yeah, as well. Yeah, I see Lowski. Um, I know Lowski. Yeah. Obviously, you had Ratman when you well, was doing Shiro's yeah, story. He's, which is another thing no, that we'll come on to. Hey, he's, <laughs> no, 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 no. We weren't talking about who you know that's been in the store. We were talking about listen to the music. Yeah, yeah. yeah I do listen to the music. No, okay, the music's right. crossed over massively. Yeah, exactly, hundred yeah, percent. Yeah. In Croydon, when I first listen, mate, not I'll everyone get, I'll get back. To I'll get back to you. I'll get back to you. Yeah. He's trying to go for me now. You see, this happens. He's trying to chuck the names out. Yes, he, he is, he is, he is. But ask him to name a tune. <laughs> yeah. Gunlean, Russ. Gunlean, yeah, everyone knows Gunlean. Well, you didn't know it when he mentioned it. Yeah, he, he did, he did. Bro, Gunlean, man, <laughs> Gunlean. Why are, you, why are you swearing as well? On the left. Why are you swearing as well? You're messing up the whole YouTube. I didn't hear a swear. Algorithm, man. I, did, I, yeah. you, I it, swear a lot. I really have to try and curb George it. George just gets nervous, it's fine. Yeah, let... But one of the... A little... A big moment, I think it was like two weeks ago, the, the journey still continues to like bust my head. So... I've met Heady One and RV at an event I did called Table Bay. Shout out Table Bay. Sickest event ever. They, they've literally changed the face of that. Nah, they're doing, of, they're of doing the events, most. They? They're do I don't even want to tell too many people that it's lit, but it's too lit. Where <laughs> don't, is, don't book a table. Where is Table Bay? They did it. it that was some they moved massive it around, house, wasn't it? The last, the last one was one. in Dalston, and it was like a box park that was inside. Everyone had their own little private like glass shop, but they just get like the, the, the best visual merchandise brands that are all British. Is it two girls that run it? Yes, yeah, so it's Elenia and Maria that do it. And like they, they just make it too lit. So everyone- well, So it's like a- It's a party. It's, it's like Crep City, but sales. it's like a party yeah. as well as like, there, there's so much going on. Yeah, it's hard on. to explain. But yeah, but I can sort of picture it's, it, yeah. It's mental. Like, a party slash festival slash clothing yeah, yeah, event. Yeah, 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 but yeah. it really yeah. works. And there's, even it's a female led, female based clients as well. 
I go as this like. So you're a bit of the odd one out there. Yeah, and I, to be honest, my merchandising <laughs> ain't up with everyone else's, but because my product's so strong, yeah, I think they allow me to still be part. So of So you it. sell women's stuff as well. Yeah, we do. Like, it's, it's unisex though. Yeezys from three and yeah, a half. Yeah, but then like the clothing's pretty. No, I don't do any women's clothing. No, yeah, all. that's it. So, it's, yeah, so yeah, yeah, in store men's. What's the split then between the men and the women like that come into the store? It's like eighty percent. No, lately it's, it's. I think maybe because of Table Bay and maybe because women are hungry for shoes now as well. I, I need to address it and, yes. and lift the offering because I've yeah. always I've always done sort of the Jordans I try and get the Yeezys small yeah but because they're the rare attacked, sizes aren't they but I've never the attacked the, the Nike side of the business for, mm. with women and they're, they're getting pissed off like they want more stuff I think with you as well is what's quite difficult is women's footwear sizing because it's you know, like, like the popular sizes for men is like eight, nine, ten, yeah. for example. But like with women, it varies so much. Now, we've and had some size ten women. Big them up. What? They're, really? they're out here. They're, out, they're, they're out here. I met some size seven women. Yeah, yeah, they're out. There's a big difference between seven and ten. Though. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So we've got some I haven't size met four any. guys, bro. The, yeah, and yeah. Fair. And how old are they? No, no, big, big guys. Yeah. Some of them. You, you had, you had a size two and a half Valentino as well, right? Like you, you yeah. go down all the way to two I mean, and a half. What have we got now? We've got a size one McQueen. Um, uh, it still looks hench. Yeah, it's hench. But, but you're wearing there. McQueen's in your Gamma video, right? I need the height. I need the height. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mate, don't worry. Don't cast the short. I'm trying people. to nearly get to six foot. Yeah, yeah. I'll say I'm five foot ten. <laughs> I'm five foot eight, really. But yeah, one of the one of the big moments, which was like two two weeks ago, three weeks ago. So I've met Heady One and RV at Table Bay. They've liked like the vibe. They've invited us to their show. So their show's the Wednesday. I'm really looking forward to going. But thinking, I oh, like I've got to get a haircut. I've got to do this. So six thirty, shop shut, queuing up for my trim. Then Young Bane's phoned me like, like, I need drip. I'm doing a show. So I've not asked him what show. I'm thinking, well, I'm sacrificing my haircut. It's Young Bane. Like he's a superstar. So gone back to the shop, opened the shop. He's like trying on everything. I'm properly trying to style him. We've secretly started drinking Bel Air. And then, two t so he's, he's got his outfit. Why secretly? He's, he's, well, I, shouldn't, I don't know if I'm allowed to be drinking in the shop. <laughs> it's your shop. <laughs> don't don't you want, it? <laughs> uh, my lace. it was outside the shop, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 cover, yeah, 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 yeah. So then, so he's, he's dressed. And then I'm saying, oh, where are you performing? He's like, oh, I'm doing Heady One show. I was like, oh, sweet. What, can I come with you? He was like, yeah, yeah, sweet, but I need a haircut. I was like, all right, cool, you can have my space. So I took him to the barbers on Lee High Road. So all up in the, the, the big up the Algerian barbers. So they're doing <laughs> Young Bane. He's speaking French. I'm drunk. I've not had a haircut or got changed. I, I'll be honest, I didn't even have a shower. Well, so he <laughs> took you to the... So then I've gone to the show like with him and... Yeah, I, like, I just feel like I'm part of it. Like I'm rapping, but it, but basically he he didn't perform because I think he got too twisted. Hold on, you said you were rapping there. What? No, I like, I feel like I'm like with it. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll be, I might even get on the stage today. <laughs> but that's just stage like, diving. No, so it, yeah, I mean, it's, the Bel Air got you basically. Yeah, and just I never thought those type of people would we'd have that kind of rapport where I'm still trying to just pay my rent and. I'm still I know what doing you mean, business, yeah. Yeah. but doing it with different clientele. Yeah, I'm I'm a fan of the music, so to have have those sorts of people messing with me like properly is yeah, it's it's, it's unreal. You're honest. very much like the plug to that scene. It's like as yeah, soon think, as yeah. it's, it's like as soon as those artists reach a certain level, they all tend to come to you, and even before yeah, as well. I would, it's it's changed slightly now, where I try and reach out to the newer guys because the real the real superstars, they've got stylists, mm. like Harrods will be phoning them and saying, we've got the new Dior, come through. Like, I don't really do it like that, but... So you're bridging the gap between the superstar and the up and coming. Yeah, and I think if you might... Talk to me. <laughs> yeah, you might want a supreme pe pair of pants, a D-squared jean, a Yeezy... So you've got supreme McQueen. as well for people. I, I can do that. Yeah, yeah. Harrods can't quite do it but they can do new season obviously way better and way bigger than i can mm. but i'm yes yeah, what's I've, been the most popular brand that like these sort of these sort of stars are coming to get because i know there's a few heavy um, hitters especially denim like jeans what yeah i mean i'd, I'd loved i've had a few amiri jeans pass through my hands but i can't i can't get it officially um that's pop they're so luckily, popular right one of the one of the hang on i don't even know what they are mate True religion have been um, 
secretly using the head designer or so what of a mirror dropping again. a lot of secrets here yeah, Lawrence, so man. Religion, everything Gene, you say right is now, secretly yeah. Even a couple of rappers, I'm not going to name names, they've been doing a, a Miri bars wearing True Religions from my shop yeah. because they look so similar. And if anything, they're, they're a quarter of the price. But obviously True Religions... Because uh, Amiri's are like, what, £400? <sighs> 8 to 12. Okay. A good pair's £900, yeah. £1,000. But no, I'm saying retail. Yeah. Do they retail at that price? Yeah. I've seen if them recently. No, if you need a rip... And a paint, yeah, nah, yeah. They, you might have seen they were the ones with the rips and the paint and like the shit under the rips. You got stuff going on under the rips. Oh, no, well. I see shit like that in Zara all the time, though. But yeah, well, yeah, obviously, obviously ev ev everyone does similar. But you, you want to obviously everyone's saying they're wearing the mirrors. I got I buy all my jeans from Zara, mate. Listen, shoot me. Keep yeah. it Levi's, mate. Yeah, I, well, I, 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 I never, I jeans. never have, but big up true religion. I'm, I'm, so you've been, been wearing, wearing the Amiri stuff. jeans? <laughs> no, I don't own a pair. I'm not gonna lie. Why not? I don't sell it, so I won't wear it. Oh, look at that! Ah, look at that. Honestly, I, it's, it's it's not it's, that's not snobby, is it? No, I'm no, of course not. That's that. no, passionate, just staying strong to your brand. Yeah, yeah. I, I still wear True Religion. I love D squared. I'm, I'm. It's, it doesn't sell as well as it maybe did, but I'm privileged to have that because yeah. I've always wanted it. When but, Choice had D squared, then, and I didn't. Again, I was bugged. for someone like you, you know the trends change so quickly and brands come in and out so quickly. Like True Religion was was huge at one point yeah. and then just massively dropped off, didn't it? Yeah, I mean, I think it's the only reason I still sell it. It's like one of the only like, proper brands, they actually really like what I'm doing. Yeah. They monitor who I'm who I'm putting on my Insta. They they DM me and say, no, that was sick. Like they've, they've supported. You've built a rapport with them. Yeah, yeah. yeah so. they've, I'm, I'm hoping they've got a few things in the pipeline. It, it, it won't ever go. And they're really in tune with the music scene, as am I. So it is. You're just it, really making me think, man, about personal stuff on Insta. Because there's a lot of stuff we get in the office trainers, clothes, we don't put enough on there. There's a lot of stuff going on that we don't talk about, but you're. You're living oh, and breathing you, oh, it. People are probably sick of me. But, like, but but the point is, like, <laughs> I live and breathe it as well. What I'm buying outside the office, what I'm wearing, what I'm thinking about putting on. But don't put it on the Insta as much. Yeah, but I mean, do you? Would you say you're more careful to? You might not want to mention something, and then you will mention something. Just that's I the don't thing. Know. We're quite unbiased. Like, there's no, there's no real affiliation. I know the word is affiliate marketing. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. But the point is, we don't have to say anything about any brand. That's the beauty of this. We can say what we want about who who we want because we're not on any big fixed fees from any retailers or anyone to say you have to say this each month. Yeah, so, I would have thought you you was more in line with that. Yeah, so the point is, I can say anything. I mm. could say anything. But I think on, definitely part of my growth is the honesty. The honesty, yeah, because yeah, people buy into that, isn't it? And, no, and they trust it. I people, guess yeah, people see through yeah. it as well. We got to be careful though with that, right? So if there's like a shoe, so Nike for instance, if there's a shoe that I hate from Nike. Yeah. I think the last thing I want to be doing is talking about how dead it is. If other people are really like it, when I could just you say, might, look, this you is might, you might like potentially kind of like change their mind by saying how how like you. Yeah, someone might be sitting on the fence. Mind. I say, actually, this is a dead shoe, and all the people that did like it now go, oh, do you know what? He doesn't like it. It is dead. But the fact is, they mm. should make their decision. I should just say, look, mm. or not push it, or just keep it unbiased at that point. Just say this is the shoe is released. But if yeah, I, I mean, love I something, you, you could always how I always try and word it. Yeah. It's, it's on me. It's dead. <laughs> so <laughs> whether you look at that's the shoe or my yeah yeah yeah, but that's the thing. My look, I'd... you've got the authority, so people listen. Yeah, maybe. So when you go, it's on me. It's dead. It still sells. Everyone. Just... <laughs> now what um the the new Dior's? I was thinking, oh, when I saw them in I pictures, see, what, I was the thinking, Dior nah, that, home runners. what's going on here? Like they've got they, they look like high tech with a with a. But on, um, hey, I'm, I'm getting there. I'm getting. I yeah, can't yeah, do yeah. with all this like high end fashion. I quite man, like, like those Dior's though. I quite, some, I was... some of, I, I can do some of them. Like some of the Balenciaga like, runners, and it's like I said before, the speed race is nice and that. But some of the stuff that I see, especially the, the chunkier stuff, I'm like, what is Mate, going on? The Balenciaga on here, runners, God, they were a, oh, they were I, a shoe. I still love them. Like, but different kind of soul, uh, midsoles, yeah, yeah, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, they're, they have slowed down massively because it's a slimline shoe. It's a summer shoe as well, though, man. Yeah, people are not. People are a lot bang. People bang it with shorts, and mm. I suppose you get people with like slim fit jeans. And but when, when jeans people come in and I'm in an eye, I'm saying, look, listen, if you invite me to a wedding, that's my shoes. What like, the Balenciaga are they runner? Shoes? I'm like, yeah, yeah. they're shoes. And then you could wear them with a suit. I think <laughs> I wore McQueen's to a wedding in Spain. 
Oh, I wore them like three that's years ago. Look. Yeah, but you're the soldier. Oh, mate, was, you, okay, three years ago. I was ago. wearing a, yeah, yeah, I wasn't ready. I wasn't bro, ready. I was wearing a shorts suit. Yeah. He's the sole supplier. He's, it, he's, no, a, he's no, listen, the head of the trend of the time, time, bro, no, no, I mean. This is the most like edgiest <laughs> outfit. <laughs> <laughs> most edgiest outfit people ripped me, but I was back in that. That was well ahead of you the know what you need to like you need to post that photo up now of you at that wedding and be like I'll find it. I'll I'm ahead of the game, They gave man. me blisters badly, no, mate. they're very stiff, but they don't crease. Trust me, it's so bad, they mate. They don't crease. I've done, I've done. They shouldn't for four, five hundred quid. Oh, they're, they're, no, they're three, they're 380. They're like below the market sort of level. Yeah, so oh, it's acceptable. Right now. It's cheap acceptable. Right now. Yeah, that's I love the way you just normalise yeah, it. Yeah, like five, 500 quid is, is, yeah, I mean, you might as well say it's like Italian Air Force Ones or 500 quid. Okay. It's just, it's, or it's Italian normal. Stan Smiths. Yeah, yeah, but but they're they're below. I think they're selling so well because they're slightly cheaper. Mm. What is the most expensive item you sold in your shop to a customer? Um, it's a good question. That. Yeah, I've still I've got a signed pair of uh, Chicago off white ones still. Signed by a Virgil, yeah, yeah. So yeah. We've, had, we've had good offers, but I'm just holding out because they do they do enough marketing just to chill. Who else would have signed them, by the way, Alex? Michael Jordan or me I've Michael Jordan might have signed them I've started doing signatures so then people might think it's for me. real yeah yeah I love that it's, it's, yeah, it's doing ridiculous. the signatures uh, so I did a pop up in Birmingham um, a couple of months ago and that, that it, did you get someone ask you can it, I have a more than once what a signature yeah like young kids like from Autographs. Coventry and, well I get asked for pictures if people recognise no, me but I don't get I've and, never had a I'm signature I'm left handed dyslexic so when I sign it, they're probably thinking, no, oh, he's taking the piss. <laughs> what the, what's that? It's you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, 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 had wow. to own, I had to own a business because I wasn't that employable, basically. But yeah, he's- But that, you've got to, that's something that's, that's probably got so much better over running this business, right? What, his handwriting? <laughs> <laughs> Not the handwriting, but just, the sort of academic side of things, running yeah. the business. Well, you've got no choice though. You've you had to, to get learn. better at it. Yeah, you don't I think just. You, you don't, I know you're making a get, joke of it. No, but, but the only way you get better is just the experiences and definitely the negatives. Yeah, like the positives are, are great, but you don't really learn from a positive. This is it. Yeah, because you're too so gassed you're, on what yeah, it was. You only learn. You I, only learn when you're crying and you're. Yeah, beer. one of the. One, yeah. one, <laughs> this, this is so, but I can't believe I'm even saying this. I actually, <laughs> the first time I had trouble with a bailiff, within half an hour to forty-five minutes, I sold him a shoe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And I still have his number. So he's a client. What shoe was it? What shoe was it? I think he he, bought, he probably bought. Was he might even have bought Creative Rex? Like he he was from. Well, like but he Leicester. come to your store. So yeah, so he, he's come to coming e Croydon to, store. Yeah, to get uh, business rates. Yeah. Um, did you give so? Did you literally give his money? Yeah. Give his money back though. <laughs> when he give you the cash, no, you literally actually, go, "Yeah, mate, there's you." I actually didn't pay. Like I. I just gassed it. Lawrence, am I going to see you on this Can't Pay Take It Away Channel 5 I'm program ready, soon, bro? <laughs> but marketing, I'll have my Crep Select hat on, <laughs> proud on my chest. Like, it's not a biggie. Like, I'm not trying to hide. The, the council tax is... But you were at the time. No, I just... I just didn't I'm get just it. saying. I just, I just, I just didn't get it. it. We're not I was like, what are you gonna, I said, you can, take, like, you can take some stock or you can maybe buy something. Can I just <laughs> make the effort, do a deal? And at the end of the day, they just... They want to know maybe you're not going to do a runner and you're going to try. But yeah, man, big up. I think his name was da Daniel. Yeah, big up Daniel, man. Daniel up. Got, got, got new Yeezys for you, bro. <laughs> yeah, true, man. So what? So you sold a pair of. You've got a pair of Chicago off white ones. Yeah, yeah. Signed by Virgil. Signed by what? How much are they? <laughs> um, trying to get six thousand. Can't lie. What? And I've had offers. Of Is four. that what a signature does? Yeah, but don't, do you remember when um, Kanye signed the turtle doves at um, Hanbury Street? I'm pretty sure they went for big, big money. The as thing well. is, that can be faked so easily. Yeah, well, I mean, I've got basically when Virgil he was in London doing like custom T-shirts. Yeah. So the yeah. client whose shoe it was, because he bought the shoe from me. He's, mm -hmm. like, he's my, he's my Chinese best friend now. Yeah. <laughs> he he bought the shoe already, so I've already like made made the money I needed to. He went and got me the T-shirt, the this like rubbish off-white T-shirt. It's like massive, but it's very limited. He went and bought the shirt. The shirt was two eighty, but he signed the shoe for the client, and then the client gave me back the shoe on consignment. So, so that's one of the items. He's probably even for. forgotten I've got it. Like I he, don't know, man. I don't think that's the kind of thing you forget. No, nah, well, if you made the money, these, some of these guys, bro, they're, they're, they're yeah. doing. They've got different money. 
they're, they're doing yeah they're, they're buying so buildings that's crazy it's not just that is crazy isn't it yeah, yeah. so it, and it's been a big part of the sort of the marketing drive like everyone takes pictures of it um so what's i'll, your, what's I'll your be bit? sad to le lose it yeah yeah what what is your biggest marketing tool then would you say you mentioned the shoe it's got to be the two mannequins in the window isn't it? Dave, <laughs> Dave and, and Steve yeah so we do yeah <laughs> wavy Davey and Steve Steve Drip and this um, is what you put on your story right yeah I mean we just it's it's quite unprofessional but that's but good it's all it, that's what I people guess, connect yeah, to yeah it is subliminal the yeah. whole time like even, even my daughter's got um, customised like kids Yeezys kids Yeezys did not sell like yeah, the they were an L yeah, but yeah, yeah. I customised my daughter's uh, Nancy Drew did the like the Gucci flowers on the side. I know Nancy. She used yeah. to work at Offspring. So, right? Yeah, that's yeah, it. Yeah, Pick yeah, up yeah. Nancy. Yeah, so yeah. I've now sold a lot of my kids' Yeezys. Mm. Um, but yeah, it's all, all my marketing. I, I I didn't learn about it. You're just putting your face on the gram, and, and that's it. Yeah, and if when and I on the snap, occasionally look at other other shops. Yeah, like, it's it's dead. Like there's no there's nothing to hold you. Yeah. All I, all I'll, all you'll see is product. I know I know where to get. There's no there's no like personality. There's nothing that's kind of personal about any of the. We were talking about this before. Like <clears throat> obviously, what Offspring now do with like their they, social like media. Yeah, there's his yeah, like, proper. But mm. they're, they're the only people that are doing that though. Yeah. SNS are they're quite personal with what they do as well. Yeah. But yeah, everyone else is just kind of like ramming product down your throat. Yeah, yeah which is when you yeah the the, the, when the consumer about switches the off. Product, yeah, yeah, you lose them or why am I going to buy. Yeezys off you for three eighty when they're they're three twenty on StockX mm. because you can't meet me <laughs> and you've got to wait two weeks you've got to pay tax yeah and they pay sixty quid for a signature now too yeah right? exactly yeah. I'll do a, I'll do a selfie with you this come is on it. let's talk about real quick some of the fake videos right yeah oh because... yeah mate these are these are we, we, you know we need, <laughs> we, we need yeah. a count we need a counter in your video for how many times you I say ting I've, bro, I've, I've, this, I love... this week this week. It was less because I was no, knackered. Mate. The, bro, the, uh, when you opened this video, like, I thought you was playing on the last one because people commented like, you say ting quite a lot. And you went, this is the real ting, this is the fake ting, it's the ting. <laughs> like, no, what, what is it you, no, you, you, was that, you was like, um, oh no, no, I was asking you man about what you wanted me to do on a YouTube and you were just waffling. <laughs> oh, no, seriously, when I did that, I was expecting some real good like, oh, why don't you do this? And like one gives like, oh, could you could you talk about um, what you picked up at the Supreme drop? When I read that, I'm thinking, well, this guy doesn't know what I'm doing. <laughs> like, that, like, no, that's dead. Um, but no, it's just, yeah, even this week, I didn't even really want to do it. I was hungover. I was at a big party the night before and the guy that films it with me, he was just like, no, come on, man, it's, it's, it's popping, it's a joke. Who's that that films it? Uh, so it's my friend Yusuf. Like, he works yep. for uh, Whistle Sports. Okay. So he's like doing loads of supersonic media and he's really invested a lot of time in he's a personal friend yeah but he can really see like a vision, vision of, it, yeah. of it growing but by being real with it 100 percent. so you, yeah. you're just 100 percent like unapologi unapologetically yourself and yeah, like, yeah. there's, yeah, there's I mean, no the, the first one i did i had way too many espressos so I was on. Was this the gamma one? No, no, the, no. the first one was, it was uh, the Yeezy, um, the Wave Runner. So yeah, obviously yeah, yeah. Oh was, yeah, yeah. This is the one where yeah, like, yeah, you, yeah. You, you were I getting rinsed in the uh, comments, but, people were but the thing is, you don't me. care, though, do you? No, but I've, all, I've always spoke like this. I try not to speak to my mum. Yeah, but that's the way. thing, mate. It's like whatever <laughs> way you want to speak, yeah, or whatever time. Like people obviously try and like put it in like a racial bracket, but growing up on like in Lewisham, it is it is what it is. When I, when I worked in Sainsbury's, I tried to like curb it. Do you know what though? You, you, this this is all stuff that you don't even need to speak on. Like no, it's just no, whatever I mean, it is. It's just stage I've got this language, now, isn't it? Yeah, but I'm, like I'm, people were just rinsing you in the comments. But like, <laughs> I, I love, love I love it. the I fact love that it. you just go straight back at them. I'm like, I yeah, love it. <laughs> you're almost like just rinsing them <laughs> back. I was like, oh, if you say ting once more, I was like, bro, unfollow the ting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw <laughs> that. that. I saw yeah. that. <laughs> I, I reckon like I would have been a good battle rapper. Like, oh. I, I reckon I've got a couple one-liners in there. Have you, got, have you there. got some bars then on that note? I, I did use the MC. I'm not yeah. Gonna lie. yeah, so listen, we need a quick two-bar. Just a two-bar. We need a quick, yeah, two bar. quick, we need a quick we do, two-bar. We, we ask all of our guests to do a two-bar. No, George has you know got a two-bar. I've got a two-bar. I've been 100% real with you. The, the, the future of Crep Select <laughs> definitely... I'm going into music, music in whatever format. You've done quite a few music videos as well, Loads, loads. I did... I'm in... Ratman's new uh, Blue Story movie. So he gave me a through ball in that. What you, what, so what are you doing in the video? Uh, they just do a, sh a scene in the shop where yeah. uh, the, the, the main character's uh, showing off about his money and he's buying the latest shoes and his friends are like looking at him like, oh man, you've got so much bread. So I, I don't know how it's going to look. I don't know the, the story, but 
rap man he, he's continuously absolute banter if they change it and he's like oh, you got bare bread and it's just like walks out the hovis <laughs> or, or imagine they're like oh, he's in a shop and he sells fake shoes and like, it's supposed oh, to be a market no. like, yeah. and he's completely kills my business <laughs> imagine but I don't think it'll be that it's no. only good for the business though right yeah and I think yeah. yeah UK music I'm really heavily a fan I'm invested in it I'm trying to all the all the my current staff have all got a song somewhere so I'm trying to push all of them. I but they all reciprocate the love as well, though. Like every time they're in the store, they're always on their like social channels, yeah, yeah, Instagram, yeah. Snapchat, and you see that as well. Yeah, we were doing. We did a video yesterday. Uh, Rushy, Rushy, his song is um, it's like a newer song, so people don't really maybe know they know the song because the song's big, but don't know him. And we just did like a, we did a snap where all my staff are dancing, <laughs> and then one of our local we have these uh, visitors on our Snapchat. We I don't want to be rude about sort of the type of people they are, but yeah, they're just like st- street people that may, maybe visitors. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we, have, we have a few. We have a, we have a few little stars from our Snapchat, and one of them's just doing the maddest dancing. And then Rushy obviously see the video. He's reached out. He he's like, oh, I'm coming for some shoes. Like that part of uh, it's not even marketing. I, I don't know what it is. What well, it is? But he guess, he yeah. might be in the charts next time. Yeah. But I'm. Um, he, he ain't messing with no other shop. Um, yeah, like, and I've got his number now. Well, so, so someone was doing a dance. like from yeah, So, so uh, the song's on, obviously, there's yeah. always a vibe in yeah, the I've shop. Yeah, I've seen it on the story. So my yeah, staff yeah, yeah. are dancing, and then one of the visitors is just doing the most, <laughs> like, hand gestures, like, yeah, some serious, correct this, gestures. Mate. And then, obviously, he's been sent it, because I didn't tag him or anything, and he's just reached out, like, oh, yeah, bro, I'm going to come through, what you got in my size, da 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 and I've, yeah, and it just it works from there, and then yeah. and people are prepared to spend the money. They don't. Do they negotiate as well? Some of these, some of these. No, rap- I think the when they get super big, yeah, and then like they start getting seeded, yeah, then then things get trickier. But I, I won't. But there's name a point names, of like a lot of them bring the ones they don't want as part of the exchange. <laughs> so, <laughs> so so yeah, I've had plenty of shoes come my way to help the price their way. Okay, yeah, that's interesting that you accept that as well, because I'd yeah. like, kind of be like, the money's well, important. No, I mean, I, I, I but know... if you know you can get rid yeah, of it, like yeah. The, so it's win-win on his part yeah. though, isn't it? Because a lot of them won't get seeded Yeezys, but they oh, get the, I see, the Pharrell yeah. Williams Got you. NMDs yeah, get yeah, sent yeah. out. Okay, so I my, see what's my happening whole here. display I missed, of I missed those, what you were saying there, yeah. My yeah. whole display of those, I, I might as well, yeah, I paid very little. Yeah, and a couple of Yeezys went the other way. Interesting. One thing I really want to talk about, and George probably doesn't know about this, God. was the Christmas advert. Uh, yeah, I, I, I've half that forgotten was about mad. that. But that that was mad. That was mad. When I, I remember, epic. I think I was watching like uh, like it was a game on like a Sunday, like Sc- 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 Super Soon. Sunday on Sky Sports. Then all of a sudden, it was on at half time. Yeah, yeah, the yeah, Visa advert comes up, and it's Lawrence at Crepsilic. I was like, what? Yeah, that. You could, yeah, that. That was at a. A difficult got, time for the business as well. How when, much did you pay for that? No, nothing. Much? They approached you. Oh, okay. I don't even right. want to expose the the check. No, it's fine. Got, it's fine. I got, so you got weighed paid. in, man. That that sorted my Christmas out. My kids were good. That's so good, it, mate. honestly, man. And either all, all for you to it doesn't even like, suit the advert when you actually Wait, so deep it. Is it Crepsilex no, Christmas it's right. advert? It's visas. No, it's visas, visas advert. Um, visa Christmas advert. Can can you drop that little two bar for us quickly? Visa uh, High Street Stars. Yeah, yeah. I, I had to do the Mariah Carey like 400 times, bro. Yeah, they were uh, all singing. All the... I want for Christmas is you. <laughs> it was so I sick. I have seen. Yeah, that's it. I'm in there, man. I have put, seen I it. I put the shoe no, on no, the No, 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 I've seen you on yeah, something that, else. It's a little gamma, isn't it? I've seen you. I've do... done a few bits like I've that. seen you on something. <laughs> I've done a few bits. <laughs> I've seen you on something else. What else have you been in? You might recognise his body I mean, from sports uh, on the screen, isn't it? Phil. Yeah, yeah, I did, I did loads of that. It's loads of body double stuff, isn't it? Yeah. I did Soul Seekers film. I'm in that. As the yeah, baby. Soul Seekers, but there was something else. I'm sure man. you're the bad guy in that, isn't I'm it? The, I'm the baddie, bro. I remember when I first saw it. So I watched one of the first screenings they did in um, at the Ritzy in Brixton, and um, when you came on, that <laughs> bad people were like, Boo. <laughs> <laughs> it was so jokes, man. And like even afterwards, we were uh, we was upstairs in the in the Ritzy, and people come up to you talking to you, and I was like, look, man, I've got <laughs> I've got to make money in it. Like there's money to be made. I'm one of the it. only one of the poignant things I say is, look, if you're not with me in the queue. Then why are you moaning about? I'm not doing it for free. That, that that that's it. You get some hate from people hating on reselling, and I think since filming that, 
I think it. So many people resell. People have forgot about yeah. The, yeah. You can't. The pain. You can't argue with it now. It's part of what we it's do. Embed, it's yeah, what it's the embedded. industry. I, is. I actually, you know, like a lot of the, say the guys who were really good at it when it was easy. Mm. They're the haters because they were. Because it's secret. harder for them. Yeah, ah, they yeah. were yeah, because it's saturated now. Up. This is it. <clears throat> now the kids. I've I've got kids who sell me shoes. They're doing the most for ten pound on top. This is it. Like, yeah. I they're love prepared them, for that hustle. I might buy six pairs, so he's getting sixty quid, eighty mm. quid. I, I can, if I queue, I get one. Do you, do you still queue? I'm I'm banned now. I, I was gonna say, I was gonna say I, I'm sure you're banned from a few <laughs> yeah. places. What what what? Just for reselling? Yeah, but I think, you know, like just managers of the stores. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> mate, I personally invested in my downfall because yeah. they're still getting getting pay slips and thinking, oh, all, all this hours for this, but. It hasn't affected business at all. If, if anything, I'm um, I like working with these kids. They're, mm. they're mildly rude. What's but <laughs> is that? That is what it is. <laughs> That's true. I and know that, that they know feeling. A lot. Yeah, they know but a they're lot. so cut and dried. Some of them. Like I've tried having someone approach me on Instagram. Like George, you want to buy this? I'm like, okay, talk to me. Like tell me what this is. They're just like sixty pound. Yeah, I'm like. All right, cool. And he, I'm sort of yeah, like old school negotiation. No, really. no, no. Oh. It's just like no, sixty pound. Yeah, straight down they, the line. They're good. They're they're ruthless. Like they're if if I don't pay, they're like all right, cool. I'm, yeah, I'm going StockX or I'm I'm going to the other shop because he'll pay four pound more. Yeah. Also, right, the cool. deeper version of it is that like you know you you are helping these kids out essentially, and it's a lot better than reselling shoes than them out selling drugs oh, and whatever. Course. Like you know what I mean, course, there is that yeah. aspect of it as well. And, and people have, I've, I've said this for a while because <clears throat> I used to be massively against reselling. Like five, six years ago, I was massively against it. But then as I've seen it change, and don't get me wrong, there there's bad weeds within the garden. Oh, but yeah, yeah, yeah. like, I would much rather my kid to be out reselling than yeah. selling drugs or yeah. you know, like yeah. involved in all the wrong kind of things. Yeah. So like, there's, I mean, there's a positive spin on it as well. The, the and you you show that through your stories as well like there's that you've got like kids that you know are like regulars within your store and you know yeah, they yeah. kind of they they almost hang around the shop because it's like a yeah, like it's, a bit it's of a like safe a place spot. to yeah, be I mean, in it it's yeah been, i've got a new guy working for me at the moment and he he sort of joined at like the worst time because it's like summer's like crept in he came in the other day like he just he looked like he he was in the bookies like he had a white <laughs> vest on he had his hat like not on his head he had a spliff behind his ear I'm, th I'm looking at it, I'm thinking, is this really w what I've created? And then he's just at the till, just selling. <laughs> I'm, thinking, I'm thinking, nah, I'm done. Like, I, I'm, what, I'm too... What, of a split behind his ear? I'm too formal. Like, I'm just here like, like I've brushed my teeth, I've, got, I've, <laughs> done, I've done my thing. And then I'm thinking, I can't say nothing. Like, he's selling. Like, he knows today he said hello and had a conversation with more people than me. It's my shop. I just gotta let let them do their things. Just being himself. It yeah, is, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a tough. Just you're quite you're quite like I don't mind if how you're doing the job as long as the job's getting done, kind of thing. Yeah, there's always there's always things that that might wind me up because I've been doing it for so long. I've worked for other people, but the the community of the shop can't really be. I don't want to break it by trying to make it formal yeah, yeah, of course. just because it's got bigger and my clients maybe I, I might have a woman in the shop who's who's from Dubai she, someone said I've someone in Harrods has told her I've got all the Yeezys and then I've got my man with the spliff behind his ear his hat on sideways but she's still buying because she can't get the shoes so she's not going oh, to is that, is that a women? real Kind that of, happens, yeah. That, that happened. happens. Did yeah. that happen there yeah, with that? Yeah, and then basically, then I'm saying to I don't want to say. Yeah, his no, name, it's fine. It's fine. But so and she's got her Uber waiting. She's got four Yeezys. He'll carry the shoes, <laughs> and then she'll be like, "Oh, oh, you're actually nice." Well, well you didn't. Yeah, but but it's, you didn't it's, speak to him before. But, but this is the thing, though. Yeah. People, it's, it's easy for people to judge, you know, by what they see. I'm judging a book by their cover, but I'm sure, like, probably the people that you got working for you are probably all really, really good people. I mean, That's why, why, why else would you hire them? <laughs> One of the, the he's worked for me for so long. He definitely worked for me underage, because he's. I think he's only nineteen <laughs> now, and I'm. I'm sure he's been working for me for like eight years. <laughs> sick, yeah, sick, sick. But he, he, you, you can't really say he say looks the part in the traditional sense. But he knows m more about shoes than me. He, he's passionate about putting outfits together. He's got his own client base. All the people I worked for were scared of 
sort of handing it over to me in that sense. I, I let them do their thing. Like, yeah. They know the boundaries. That empowers people. Yeah, and like you, what you get that back from yeah. them, it's, it's mental. They feel like they're invested. And it's, it's worth more than I'm paying them. Mm. But I think they they feel... They feel like I they're changing feel like the, the, yeah. what's going on. You yeah, know what? Yeah. Some of the young people that work for you as well, I'm, I bet some of their families are like buzzing that they do work for you. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like because it's almost like you're like a bit of a like an uncle to some of the, the kids that need it. Maybe that like could yeah, be not like yeah. you know a bit of an arm around the shoulder or like yeah. taking them under your wing kind of thing. Yeah, I mean as well. Part of that we, we touched on the visa advert that that I think that kind of opened a not not another door, but. You know, like even like people like my mum who just legitimised a lot of she's, things. She's like, probably thinking, mm. why is he, has he got his shop next to JD? And like never wanted to discuss it, but then saw that, then looks at the shop a bit more often now with a bit, of, and then thinks, oh no, it's busy as well. It's legit. Well, well it kind of legitimised yeah, the legit. whole thing. Yeah, yeah, my, yeah. My, my younger brother's a stockbroker, so he's always like earned loads, worn a suit, right. and I think fundamentally that that pleases people a, a lot easier yeah of course yeah 100 percent. retail's yeah. quite tough but it's the, not a desired career option the, is the visa it like to what people definitely think. got my mum's juices going do you know what i mean <laughs> and like or my cousins they're all back in my phone book you know what I mean? it, it, <laughs> people want to know you in you're the invited family. to Easter yeah, party yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, oh, oh yeah what, what are you doing the weekend I was, yeah oh, Oh, people yeah. become interested again. I've got some bad family members <laughs> like that. Some cousins that didn't want to know me when yeah. I was younger. They're like, no, George, yeah. What are and you even, doing? Even come to this birthday. Saw you on the Instagram, I'm like, yeah, I don't want to come to your birthday. I still don't like you. <laughs> I don't even care how old you are. <laughs> yeah, and then, yeah, and just use my internet. If I ever need help with anything, like I need a poster, I, I actually just put go on my Instagram and say, can anyone sort me out a poster? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. It, things are done quick. Mm. Like it's, That's a good way to get uh, people to work for you, right? Using, yeah, using well, what you've I got. I wouldn't or, do a staff drive. It would, would be mad. It would be mad. Oh, well, it, yeah. If, if so I that's a good a, thing. A pretend one, like everyone send me a pound yeah. if you want to work for me. That's that's a quick 10K. <laughs> that is a Maybe quick, you should try a that, quick man. 10K. You should try that. Like, I've, I've done raffles. I've done some on the edge stuff. I raffled a watch. I see the raffles. It's like, there's, there's <laughs> literally nothing professional about the raffle jewelry, but it's like, there's no rules. Yeah, look, <laughs> 512, you won, in it? Come collect your watch. <laughs> yeah, and then when I, the, the guy in Rochester who got my watch, I'd, I'm not going to lie, I offered him half the money to buy it back, but he actually said no. But I was thinking I'll definitely buy it back and then sell it to a jeweler. But he, he said no. Oh, so I what happened? So, so for people that are listening, you... <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I don't want to go to jail. No, no, no. It's <laughs> fine, it's fine. <laughs> Free me. <laughs> so can you tell us what, what happened? Because so, I'm a so, bit confused. Right, like. So I had a Cartier watch. Which and is then worth a, like... Um, so I paid, I paid 2,200, say, for it. Blade Brown done a song saying... Only something like only little boys wear carties, big boys wear rollies. So I was like, "What? <laughs> no, I need to sell my carty." So then, when I'm phoning around all the jewelers, especially the one I bought it from, yeah, boy, like a grand. What? I thought watches went up. He's like, nah, like the value on what you've got right now is dead. What? What? what why was it so dead at that? Like, because Blake Brown's just what? Just because like, of that? Yeah, but we're obviously the people that are buying the watch are the people who are into that music. Right. right. So it's just all a did Blake Brown have that much of an effect? Oh, on... he killed it. He killed it. Was for, that song it's, a it's big? Was that song a banger for? It's a good song. And yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Rolexes went up and Cartiers were done out here. So then <laughs> done out here. We, we were wondering so, how long it was going to take to see it. <laughs> yes, so this shoe so done then, out here. So I'm just right. Well, what am I going to do? Well, I'm doing a raffle. So it was like like a hundred tickets at twenty pound is two thousand. So did I do twenty? I did enough. It was th I got three grand for the watch, and then I did cheekily try and buy it back for fifteen hundred. But the guy said no. But what? A, I'm, yeah, I've, yeah, yeah. I've made good. a bit of money. That guy. I think it, no, it was ten pound. What ten pound? A, a ticket. Two thousand tickets. I think it might have been ten pound a ticket to be fair. Well, so three hundred tickets at ten pound. It was three grand. This was how organised it was. He don't even know. He yeah, don't I, remember. I can't. It was just fair, on the story. You know that you get the guy that loses and does the maths. Yeah. You weren't three grand though. The watch is worth two thousand four hundred. Well, all right, cool. I'm, I'm going to give a hundred pounds charity. Like, go away. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I, I probably wouldn't do that again now because it's grown yeah. more. I, I'm going to tone down the the really unprofessional stuff. 
but catch all that stuff on Snapchat. <laughs> yeah, that's the platform for you. Yeah. What, what were you telling us before telling me about the Snapchat? Yeah, I mean that obviously that the growth of that, but the demographic is 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 younger. It's like thirteen year olds, yeah, isn't it? Way less interested in product. Yeah. N- every time I do a picture and forget to put the price. They like four hundred people. How much? How much? So how do you reply to all those people? Yeah, difficult because you have to save the chat, bruv. That that's I don't just, even know how to oh, use Snapchat. It's an L. Like lie. So, so say so you, you say you know, how sna- much? You know, yeah. you know Snapchat's actually designed to confuse adults. No, I, I'll every time take there's that. An, no, 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 legit, legit. There's, there's, so every time there's an Instagram. update, every time there's an update, it's 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 done in Got a way to, to confuse adults. Yeah, yeah. It's it's meant for kids like, and like younger people, not for adults. Bro, this is. I'm sure oh, I read no, this. In no, no, no. This, it I'm sure a, I read this. I'm it, not waffling. It is way. It's, it is. Yeah, it's, it's not good. Like that, save the chat. I mean, who who has got time to press and save? Yeah. Because the guy says, how much? So what do you mean? So you press and save if someone sends you a message like how much? Yeah, if I don't save, say, <clears throat> say I do a picture, of, I did the Jordan 6 pink, uh, uh, however you say her name, Melilia May or whatever it is, yeah? So <laughs> yeah. I did the picture on Insta. No one asks how much. Everyone just assumes it's 250. What size do you have? So I, yeah, cool. I've got your size. Snapchat, what are they? <laughs> So then I'll I'll reply, but then what are they's gone? What I've said's gone. Then all I get is how much. I'm thinking, well, I'll just do a voice note now, bro. Like I didn't save the chat. What are you asking about? Could you just do another snap to say these are these are? <sighs> yeah, and then then he'll say yeah, them them sixes. So then I'm thinking, well, bro, like we've got all the sixes. Yeah. So yeah, I've not mastered my. <laughs> I've not cut my effort down yet. Yeah. You can't answer it online, like on a on the computer either, can you? Snapchat no, what you, messages. What, what you need to do with Snap, what I've realised, you just put the sizes you've got with the price because generally people are more, I don't want to say stupid, but are less, they're less interested less in knowledgeable. using Google <laughs> yeah, yeah, or yeah. just looking at the website because the link's there. Like that's <clears throat> but that's that's social, man. That's what we find. Like, but even no, on but Insta. I find Insta is, is less like that. Yeah. Or people know the Yeezy's going to be more than retail. Yeah. On Snap, they don't. Because how old are the people on Snap, do you think? 12 to 16, generally. That's a huge percentage of your audience. Yeah. And yeah. obviously the future... Is that... They're, once they they're they're going to be 17, buying. 18, yeah. they will buy. But right now... Well, they're still probably they're just, buying, right? You're conditioning the kids, Lawrence. That's what yeah. you're doing, mate. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm not sure. I, it doesn't convert <laughs> as well as Instagram. No but way. how have you measured that? I know we're getting into this whole side of like... Because so, so, obviously you can just... When people go, what's your website? I'm saying, well, you can just PayPal me, bank transfer me and do it through here and I'll do free postage. Really? That works heavily on Instagram. Does it? Yeah. To save, to save a tenner on post. Well, so people aren't worried about the authenticity or worried no, about now. they just they just care about the product yeah that that I, I very very when I first opened in Lewisham I had the before I even opened I had the Stone Island night collab coat in the yeah. window with Jordan 6 sport blues bad boy outfit the bright blue jacket I'm thinking yeah I'm announcing my arrival <laughs> I had three letters about um, potentially selling fakes so one was actually an official letter because someone had complained to the shopping centre. So the shopping centre decided to write me a letter instead of just like phoning me. So that, I'm thinking I'm announcing my arrival, but people are just like, nah, he's put a Nike jacket. He's put a badge on a Nike jacket. What did? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah people have called me out for wearing a Stone Island Nike <laughs> and said it's fake for the same reason. Yes, I had probably yeah, was. The first, probably was, yeah. The first <laughs> month, all my friends are coming to the shop yeah. who are my age, who have got mortgages, did it, who don't want to buy nothing. So I'm fed up of telling them. Don't come to my shop. <laughs> guys, like, unless you're going to buy something, like, allow it. No one's buying. So the first month, I'm like, Stressed. this is not going to work. Lewisham's, I thought Lewisham would be ready. But then as, as the marketing got going, the first, I think Charlie Sloth came, actually came to the store within, within maybe the first month, spent loads of money, done loads of social, all like off his own back, but like he, he didn't get much discount. Well, we've stayed friends, and that was like the the start. Then the week, the next week, there was a rap video. The next week, a big YouTuber came in to do content, and it just. But the first month was. Huh. Yeah. yeah, you thought you'd fuck. Well, because I think people up. just thought it was yeah. fake. 
Yeah. But how have you got all these Jordans when they're, don't, they're dead stock? So what did you do with the letters that came in then, the fake? I just, I just chucked them away. Yeah. I rolled because one, you knew rolled it one from the centre, I just thought, but they're going to write to me. Sweet. Should, should have framed it, mate. You don't, you don't seem like you're you're very friendly with the authorities, the bailiffs, you, the tax know, people, see, before the, <laughs> the see, shopping before centres. The, see the visa Stutters. advert? That, that, that made that world talk to me different. Got you. Like the the real like the asset managers. Yep. Like I don't do suit. Like if it's a wedding, I'm still gonna try not to do suit. But swag suit. Yeah, I would I would rock that. <laughs> um, but yeah, it, now that even at Landsec, who's my landlord, the visa advert was on all their lifts. So what, everyone you're, you're, who's sort of saying all what, in the video lift. Yeah, like it's mad. It's yeah. mad. So you're going in the lift, and I'm like the door splitting. <laughs> So obviously all the, all the people imagine? are saying, why is he, but he's slightly behind <laughs> oh in his God. rent. Oh yeah, but he'll be all right. Yeah. Like he's, he's one of us Legitimized now. Legitimized it. <laughs> he's yeah, one of us yeah, now. I love that. No, and they've really been, uh, the pat- particular lady who runs my, whether she runs the centre or the unit, she's really invested in sort of the other parts of the business. Like the, uh, it's not a social enterprise, but it, it's almost like going that way. Yeah. Like I'm doing, trying to like employ young people. Da, mm. da, 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 da. You you it get is, a lot of people asking you, can can they have a job? Yeah, and I'm doing a talk tomorrow at a school. Mm. I've done, I'm do, yeah, I'm doing loads of things that I never thought would be a part of the plan. Have you thought about that then? So training people with job skills in some way that even if they're not working yeah, directly yeah, for the, you, like a new, another new lad who's working for me, he was part of a like a government scheme where like people who need experience in retail it when when the woman phoned me i was like i read the ethos on their website and thought well it's four weeks free it's nearly yeah. christmas that was the main reason yeah the second reason is yeah well I'll, i need a body i'll train him up as much as i can and send him out within two days he's quite shy mm-hmm. knew loads about <clears throat> shoes he said oh, do you want me to do a flyer for that i was like oh, how are you going to do that he's like yeah yeah i'll do you a flyer Went home, done like 10 minutes on whatever he's... Ah, oh. I was Good. like, oh, 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 okay. Then he then he started using Depop to get me shoes cheaper than I'm getting them. Like he's not leaving. He's got a decent contract now. So just- when, when I used to work uh, in a, the JD in Tottenham, <clears throat> there used to be um, a guy from like a... I think it was his own sort of kind of that business where essentially he would help young people get into employment uh, who maybe were like deemed as unemployable by other retailers or other like establishments yeah. and stuff and I used to work with him on a regular basis and kind of give them like, I used to get their people come in especially for like Christmas temps and stuff I was like listen why not kind of give these people an opportunity if they're struggling and you know nine times out of ten it always benefits you I find uh, yeah definitely they're, they're the I think they're the most suited to my business and they've got the most genuine enthusiasm mm. not only to work for a person who's given them a chance but to just get stuck into something it's like having a diamond in the rough like, oh, why have you got a gold tooth yeah you're not really employable well like what's, so that? Who, what's a gold tooth yeah. got to do with hmm, yeah, how they're going to sell you a shoe or it's just how you mould someone isn't it? Like, you know, everyone comes to you with different qualities and you need to find the right kind of you need to you need to utilise their strengths in the right way um, that's how I always found it anyway yeah. I just always look at employment like that whenever yeah, I did... someone's there they're there for a reason you just got to dig it out of them and find out why no, and it comes doesn't it yeah, with, that's with, it, yeah. with a bit of giving them the reins you, mm. we're all different but yeah this this new kid mate that attitude on the is important computer. 100% yeah. that attitude 100%. is like you got to listen you got to want to take it in and you, you just got to be respectful the thing is, yeah. you if you've teach... got that it doesn't matter what you, else there is you yeah. can teach them about product about that customer service and that but you can't teach people an attitude no. and you can't teach them people skills either yeah. you've got it or you don't yeah. I used to always say to people it's like you know people go oh you know the customer's always right or like, that's not true and you definitely know, not and you know <laughs> and you know especially how, um, not in Lewis a lot of places <laughs> a lot of places would be, would be like um, I remember Sports Direct had a thing where you had to approach the customer within 30 seconds of that person working walking into your department now I don't know about anyone else but when that's I'm shopping it. I hate being pestered Instantly, just yeah. leave me alone yeah. like, if I need help I'll come to you it's but, different people though, isn't it? So yeah, some, you lose a sale because you don't approach someone. Of course, you, but... You lose a sale because you do. But my my attitude to it was though, it was kind of like, I used to always say to people, you know, like, 
you can't treat everyone the same. Not everyone's a sir, not everyone's a madam, not everyone's a mate. I was like, you know what? Don't be rude to people. Sometimes people are gonna be rude to you. And you know, unfortunately, that's the business that you work in. But you almost need to approach it like, treat every customer the way that your mum would, you would want your mum to be treated in a shop. Because no one wants their mum being disrespected and no one wants their mum getting bad service or anything like that. So that's the kind of like, the, the guide and I used to always say to people, treat them how you, you would want your mum to be treated. If Which would, is, <clears throat> well, you how, wouldn't, how do you, you treat? Would, well, no, no, but you wouldn't, you, for example, if, you, if you're working in a shop and then everyone's just standing around like having a laugh, talking like, all this madness, people, n not everyone's gonna receive that well. Yeah, do you know what yeah, I mean? If your mum yeah. walked into that shop, she might think a bit, oh, what, what am I doing in mm. there kind of thing. But it's, it's different. If, you're in, if you are in the circle and you're talking to each other, whatever, but then when the person comes to go, oh, how are you doing? You're right. Mm. It's different. You open up like this whole kind of engagement with someone and then they feel more comfortable yes, to be able yeah. to approach you. There's yeah. nothing wrong with ha like ha conversations between staff and stuff, but it's just, you know, happening in the right yeah, way. But I've noticed that in some stores where you get like a particularly clicky store. Yeah, where of you walk in there and you don't feel like you want to. I've exactly. noticed it in JD a couple of Mate, times. Mate, I've walked into stores before like, and I, I've been buying stuff at Till Points before, and and then the person's next to me, they just start so talking. Clicky. They're not even talk. They're not even like acknowledging that you're there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're just talking the next madness, and I'm like, do you know what, mate? Leave them. I'll go and grab them. And I'm like, oh no, no, but I'm putting it through. Yeah, but have a bit of like. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm definitely. We're definitely probably guilty of. Music a little bit loud. Yeah, no, but it, yeah. You're, but the thing straight. is though, you adhere to your customer. Yeah, but we 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 don't let people like just walk around and don't say nothing. That's we, what I'm saying. That you, you adhere to your customer all the time. Like never. Um, and you, it's I just quite that often might even say, "Why well, go on?" And might even be to a white person. <laughs> yeah. Which they, sometimes they look at me a bit funny, <laughs> but it just is what it is. You're not so tailoring what, yeah, it at all. Yeah. He's in a suit. But one, one. The, the thing is though, like the difference between you being an independent and that happening in a like a, a big corporate company like a JD or like an office or something it. is that you know people are coming to you. Yeah, like, they're they're coming. They're coming for crepe yeah, select. Yeah, do you know yeah. what I mean? But. With places like that, there's obviously this whole kind of makeup that they need to maintain, and that you know. Yeah, I've, we I've, do this I've been that. not let in Chanel before. What for? Just not let in. Why? <laughs> because of the way you're dressed. Yeah. The Why? What were you wearing I, when I you I didn't can't. get let in? <laughs> yeah, maybe. Yeah, you're just, wearing Gucci all over. I don't know. No, I don't, that's Gucci. I don't, need, I don't do the, do the no. Gucci. No. What do you right, think of this? Is, is I, I want to know. I want to know what your favourite pair of trainers is before you go. Because um, I, I remember used to love Air, Air Max ones. I used to love, but they don't sell. So I have a, a little back. Well, they weren't. They weren't home. a University Reds, were they? No, I remember in the Soul Seeker film. Was it the, the Grand Pianos? Yeah, I've got. The, so I've still got them. I've worn them like twice. I still love them, but no. Say if I wear them at the shop tomorrow, people will be thinking, "Oh, like, what are they?" It's like, a different, different it's time. Not current. Though, yeah, yeah. Um, the Off White Ninety Sevens. Currently, I want all four of them. I have two. I want the I want to get the all black ones. So you got them on today, ones. and I've got the mentors. They were hard work to yeah, get them. Yeah, um, I'm not a big more, fan of the colorway, the mentors, but I, I really love the color. But they they don't look that good on. Yeah, also, I want a Serena, isn't it? Serena and yeah. the triple black. So I'm trying to. That's that's a little task I have ahead of me. If everyone anyone wants to plug me, what size? I, I pay two bills, <laughs> <laughs> uh, seven and a half or seven, ideally in them. So you wear all your high heat shoes. Yeah, like if I've got something, I generally wear it till we smash up, and then. Do you keep the boxes? I keep the boxes. I, yeah. I do get them cleaned as well. We've got I don't keep service. the boxes to some of mine, man. I just get rid of them and wear them. Yeah, I do that with certain shoes as well. Like even if it's a high heat pair, sometimes I just won't bother. Yeah, I just you, wear you, it, put it, it like on the that. shelf. Some of us, some of us aren't ready for that yet. Right. Just in case we have to. <laughs> but cash you never in. used it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> man, I put my off whites in the washing machine. I took him to Jason Mark to get them clean. They were like, "If you put these in the washing machine," I was like. Yeah, we, we, can, yeah. we can help you out there. We've got, we've got a good cleaning service if Have you? you need us. Yeah. So you've got a cleaning service yeah. in Crep Select But we, well. we find mainly... We only sneaky clean, Wax, isn't it? Is that? No, we sell their product, Sneaky Brand, but we just, we've got an in-house person who does the cleaning. But generally, it's a, like the Italian footwear. And I've it just dribbled all down myself. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you just try, you want me to clean your top? Yeah. You know yeah. Oh me? my God, that's embarrassing, isn't it? <laughs> no, I don't think we saw it, bro. It's all right. Yeah, no, I think that's a, that's a big part what, of so the future. Coins? Yeah, like we, but we can send them back to you brand new, bro. Oh, I don't mm. know, man. I, I what? So you doing the paint on I, the sole? Repainted. I hate, I hate, to, I hate to, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. All right. Because you said repainted. I was gonna say. No, well, from what that. I've heard, yeah. McQueen's it's not the best shoe to clean because the no, paint comes mine, off with them. I've done the most. I threw up on mine at Drake. Still there. <laughs> and why'd you yeah. throw up? <laughs> 
Bro? Um, yeah, I was just stuck. I don't know. That Super better? gassed. But yeah. Yeah. That's why you got excited. Yeah, this I, I was gassed. I think I might. I've half missed Drake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This was the recent one. Yeah. So shout out anyone that saw Lawrence at yeah. Drake. He didn't no, see you. <laughs> yeah, I was, rude. I was rude to a few people when I left. Yeah, I apologise, man. <laughs> yeah. Do you want to make this like like, like, a, like a I don't know like a monthly thing where you come on just apologise to people for stuff? It's almost like you're sinning, isn't it? We we did a, a music video in the shop. I do not know how. Nothing was stolen. No one was hurt. We had like four hundred <laughs> kids. Shout out Moolah Juice. He done his music video with his mad uncle, who's called Mad Unks. I mean, I hope land securities are not listening, but we was all twisted. <laughs> we did have extra security at the shop. The music video is mental. That it was, it was four hundred people. It, it was mad. It, it was completely is mental. This, is this video live now? Yeah, yeah, it'll be on there. I, I, need I to think see my it. YouTube is the behind the scenes, but um, Juice's uh, music video is obviously on his. He's gone. He's massive now. He's like a comedian doing doing loads. But that. For that video to go so well shows there's a respect like, yeah like the community thing we've built and all those kids now a lot of them have got like a year older and now they're into what they've seen they're coming in, the in. Shop. Mm. yeah it's sick it's mad yeah lawrence man thank you so yeah. much for coming on like, honestly really you. really appreciate it thank you. um obviously anybody that hasn't been to crep select crep select lewisham and also birmingham 27th of May to the 9th of June. Are you going back, yeah? Yeah, but, but I'm second store, man, eventually. But right now, we're just... We're, we're, that, we're just... Well, you got fishing, you got Crep fishing. Select Lewisham. Can we see a Crep Select second store somewhere? I think, oh, so you if, said Birmingham. Yeah, Birmingham. Bir Birmingham will be second. Yeah. And Liverpool, what about London? Liverpool, nah. It's in Lewisham. No, but what about another one that, that, in London? No, nah, that's, that's, that's good. That's the flagship. That's the flagship. I did, I'm not going to lie. I did want to send for you guys. I saw the store guide. Oh Come yeah, southeast is too far for, yeah. for the central we'll blame, people. We'll blame uh, Chris. Like Chris. <laughs> Chris, yeah, Chris. Yeah. But where are you, bruv? But we'll do part two. Yeah, if you're doing outskirts, I've got to be in that. I've got to be in that. Hundred percent. No, thanks for coming down. No, it's been great up, talking to you. And you're going to be at uh, Crip City Crip as well. City on the fourth. Yeah, I'll be at that. I'll probably from about three o'clock. I'll be drinking still. So. In some rap videos as well. Yeah, you might even see me on one. <laughs> I can feel that. Just a little sixteen for someone. Yeah, you might get in the charts. If and I'm are you on that. sure before you go? You don't want to drop a quick two bar. Oh, lads, I can't, man. I don't, I don't want all these new guys thinking, oh, that guy's a lemon." <laughs> <laughs> I'm still cool right now. All right, all right. Oh, thank you very much, Thanks, man. Sweet. Cheers.